Welcome to the Armageddon TV YouTube channel. The Russian army which cannot penetrate the steel armor of the Ukrainian army is in a frenzy. An unprecedented example of a struggle from the Ukrainian army is exhibited in the world. Every time the Russian army attacks in Ukraine, it becomes more and more hopeless. The biggest reason for the loss of morale and motivation of the Russian army is to lose the occupied lands in Ukraine and Zelensky's armies again. For about eight months, Russia has been ruling on the occupied Ukrainian territory. In order to ensure the permanence of lands occupied by the Russian army, Russian leader Putin recently announced the declaration of annexation. And the Russian leader declared that the annexed areas are inviolable and if we see any threat in these areas, we will give the necessary response with all our strength. The president of Ukraine, Zelensky, declared that he does not recognize the annexation achieved by the Russian leader through forced referendums and fake votes. And Zelensky, ignoring the threats of the Russian leader, launched attacks on the annexed regions. As a result of the attack of the Ukrainian army, the Russian army suffered heavy losses. Disturbed, the Russian army handed over the occupied areas to the Ukrainian army and fled from the region. With the devastating effect of the attacks of the Ukrainian army, the Russian army had to flee, leaving behind many valuable weapons and ammunition. The seizure of the weapons of the Russian army is of great importance for the Ukrainian army. Likewise, in addition to the weapons gains from the Russian army, NATO continues to support the Ukrainian army. The weapon gains of the Ukrainian army have greatly strengthened its hand in its counterattack against Russia and the threat of attack on the Ukrainian army. The Ukrainian warriors have become quite strong after a mysterious attack on the Kurdish region on the Crimean road. After the mysterious attack that caused great damage to the Kerch bridge, all Russian support to the Russian troops from the south of Ukraine was interrupted. The Kerch Bridge in Crimea was the most important element of the Russian Army Logistics Network. As a result of the mysterious attack on the Kerch Bridge, the perpetrator of which has still not been found, Russian leader Putin pushed his limits. Putin called on his army to retaliate immediately, and Putin brought Sergei Surovikin, known as General Armageddon, to the head of the Russian army in order to increase the destruction of his attack on the Ukrainian army. As soon as General Sergei Surovikin came to the head of the Russian army, the first thing to do was to shower the Ukrainian capital Kyiv with missiles. General Sergei Surovikin, who was notorious for his previous bloody attacks, seems to have had the same devastating effect on the missile attacks he launched on Ukraine. Russia's missiles are falling on urban centers in Ukraine. A blindfolded Putin, unfortunately, is again targeting the civilian population. This war strategy of Putin to intimidate the Ukrainian people is an indication of how weakened he and the Russian army are. The Ukrainian army began to see the effect of its arms gains in the missile attack of Russia. The Ukrainian army is actively using Ukrainian air defense systems to neutralize Russian missiles. In Ukraine, the army and the people are defending shoulder to shoulder against the Russian army's missile attack. The Russian army failed in every direction in the face of great resistance in Ukraine. Ukraine repelled seven attacks by the Russian army in one day. The backlash achieved by the Ukrainian army is a sign that the massive Russian forces has failed. The general staff of the Ukrainian armed forces said on Wednesday that Russia has launched 28 cruise missiles, 20 of which were launched by air defense units during the previous day. However, on the entire territory of Ukraine, the threat of Russian air and missile attacks remains, while Ukrainian officials stepped up their calls to provide the West with more air defense capabilities. Ukrainian officials stressed that Russia had carried out 13 air strikes and launched more than 40 strikes from rocket salvo systems. More than 50 countries are meeting on the sidelines of the NATO meeting in Brussels to discuss boosting Ukraine's air defense, two days after Russia's missiles rained down on cities across the country, including the capital Kyiv. NATO's advanced air defense systems are designed to protect entire cities from air attacks. Russian airstrikes last day killed 19 people in Ukraine, injured more than 100 and disabled power supplies across the country. The German Ministry of Defense stated yesterday that Ukraine has received the first of four Iris-T SLM air defense systems that Germany has committed to supply. 
The Ukrainian military needs more air defense weapons to counter Putin's missiles. The West and NATO should send the best air defense weapons they can as soon as possible, rather than talk too much about it, because it may be a matter of time before the Russians launch a new shower of missiles. In their assessment on Wednesday, the Ukrainian army stated that they repelled Russian attacks in Mykolaivka, Soledar, Bakhmutske, Bakhmut, Mayorsk, Pervomoyske, and Krasnohorivka regions. In addition to the defense, the Ukrainian army continues to conduct airborne operations against Russian troops. The Ukrainian Air Force carried out 15 attacks during the day, damaging 13 areas containing weapons and military equipment, as well as two Russian defense systems. The Russian military uses an Iranian-supplied drone to attack critical infrastructures in the Odessa and Mykolaiv regions. The Iranian-supplied drone, the Shahed-136, despite its 1,600-mile range, is capable of carrying only a small explosive payload of the Shahed-136, allowing it to satisfy the deep attack function that Russia probably wants to use seems impossible. Despite the Russian missiles raining down on the Ukrainian army, the Ukrainian heroes struggle to reach their goals. Ukraine's determination to dominate in the south brings successes. Ukrainian fighters are destroying the reserves of the Russian army, disrupting the control and logistics support systems of the Russian invaders. Ukrainian warriors managed to retake five liberated settlements in the Kherson region. The Ukrainian army gained a foothold in the liberated Novo Vasilivka, Novo Hirohivka, Nova Kamyanka, Trifonivka, and Chervone in the Berisla region. Stabilization measures are underway to revive the social and critical infrastructure there, as reported by the Ukrainian Southern Operational Command. Ukraine's missile and artillery units carried out 300 firing missions in southern Ukraine, eliminating 23 invaders, a truck, an armored personnel vehicle, the Shahed-136 UAV, and a munition depot near Dutchani, a checkpoint near Sukhanove, and a communication center in addition to Russian Gvodzitka self-propelled howitzers and an armored personnel vehicle were significantly damaged. Meanwhile, the Russian army is conducting intensive aerial reconnaissance around 17 settlements along the front line and newly liberated territory in Ukraine, while continuing to bombard the positions and rear areas for the Ukrainian armed forces also resorting to technological blackmail. Russian leader Putin could not get over his anger at the attack on the Kerch Bridge in Crimea, which was partially rendered unusable by unknown persons. Vladimir Putin's administration detained eight people, five of them Russians, in connection with the explosion on the Crimean Bridge. It was learned that five of the people who Putin ordered to arrest were Russian citizens and the rest were Ukrainian and Armenian nationals. It is claimed that those responsible for the explosion at the Kerch Bridge in Crimea are the main intelligence directorate of the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense and its director, Kirillo Budanov. When asked about Moscow allegations, Ukraine's public broadcaster Suspilne said, all the activities of the FSB and the investigative committee are nonsense. Yusuf dismissed the FSB and the investigative committee with the words, false structures serving the Putin regime, so we will definitely not comment on their next statement. The reason for Putin's anger lies in the strategic importance of the Kerch Bridge. The Kerch Bridge, a prestige project personally opened by Russian President Vladimir Putin in 2018, had become logistically vital to his military campaign, with supplies supplied to Russian troops fighting in southern Ukraine. Located in Crimea, the Kerch Bridge consists of a separate road and railroad, both supported by concrete pillars, leading to a wider span held by steel arches at the point where ships pass between the Black Sea and the smaller Sea of Azov. At a cost of $3.6 billion, the Kerch Bridge was built by a firm that is close ally of Putin and is currently subject to UK, US and EU sanctions. The Kerch Bridge is vital for the supply of fuel, food and other products to Crimea where the port of Sevastopol is the historical home base of Russia's Black Sea Fleet. It is obvious that the fire of revenge of Russian leader Putin will not be extinguished easily. However, it seems impossible for the missiles raining down on Ukraine to intimidate the freedom fighters of Ukraine. 
Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to be notified of new videos.